Howdy folks, Nicholas A Gaming here, and we are working on we're starting Call of War's Gunslinger. The good old fashioned old West Tale. And like all old West Tales, you gotta do a little digging to find the nuggets of truth in the massive pile of horse shit. Now I'm gonna be doing New Game Plus because I am doing this on the first of Cody, I don't wanna start completely bare. We're going true west difficulty, so no HUD. A lot less health. A lot of fun though. Challenging but not aggravating. know you, sir? Don't believe so. I haven't been here in many years. Name's Silas Greaves. Silas Greaves? The bounty hunter? Used to be. Ah, well, what are you doing here in Abilene? Just passing through. Got a little business to take care of. Well, sir, it would be an honor if you would allow me to buy you a beer. Hell, son, it would be my honor to drink it. I'm Molly. Howdy. I'm Dwight. That's Jack and Steve. Ben's behind the bar. Oh, I bet you got some great stories. A couple. <laughs> Any of them true? Jack, be nice. A few. What about your shootout with Henry Plummer's gang in Bannock, Montana? Is that where you started as a bounty hunter? That's what it says in this here dime novel. Don't believe everything you read in them dime novels, boy. First man I hunted was back when I was riding with Billy the Kid. You knew Billy the Kid? Damn right. That scrawny son of a bitch had no fear. Wouldn't back down for nobody. I heard he collected the tin stars off any crooked lawman who crossed him. It was a war, boy. The Lincoln County War. And Billy promised his regulators would take the life of every bastard who helped bushwhack John Tunstall. Kid had a big chip on his shoulder and a hair trigger temper. Made him dangerous as hell. Okay, so let me set the scene here. If you're Stinkin' Springs. It's 1880, the Lincoln County War is just winding down. Billy was part of the Billy Baron at this point known more as William William Bonnie was part of the faction with John Tunstall, an Irish ranch owner who got into a fight with a bunch of or sorry, an English ranch owner who got into a fight with a bunch of Irish American land barons called the House. Both they start off when Tunstall basically got assassinated at his ranch by Sheriff Brady. Billy kills Brady in an ambush. Things get into a bit of a hit. It turns into your classic range, range war that were very common in the West. And at that point, the house does what all good land barons did during the Wild West era. They got the army brought in to finish their problems for them. At this point, Billy is on the run. He, Sting Springs doesn't actually look like it does here. This almost takes more inspiration from the uh, McSween house. It was about which was 30 years ago. That, that right Billy after was the end of the in an abandoned when farm near Stinkin' Springs. army brought in. Billy went to one of his quarters and because the man I had sworn vengeance the posse on was riding there with Billy's and it turned out he would But before I tell you why I want that son of a bitch dead, let me tell you what happened that day. I was heading back to the hideout when suddenly I had this funny feeling. Funny, haha? -ha. No, Steve. The other kind of funny. Okay, so we're gonna do something fun here. 
This is an, the six shooter. It's your cold ac single action army, 45 caliber. This is the quick shooter. It's your Smith Muscle Mile 3, uh, 38 caliber. And this is the Ranger, your converted Colt Navy, 44 caliber. They all use the same ammunition. Don't know why. Just the way it is, but yeah, no. At this point, Sing of Springs is this little tiny farmhouse. I'll put a picture up. Make that. That's not fair. We're missing all the fun. I knew but, those two yeah, morons so, would never let me through. At this point, I had no choice. The kid's about to be cornered. Let's see if he can get himself out. Now, shoot that out. son bitch! Was it Pat Garrett's posse? Oh yeah. yeah. I heard the shots and I knew I had to move fast. So interesting thing. Right, well, Garrett, Garrett and uh, the baby kid were homestead. Come on, friends before this. Yeah, everyone kind of gets that. I decided to help Billy and the boys out of it. So that's just what I did. Hey, we have one behind us. Stay on it. Covered fire. <laughs> As the governor of New Mexico was paying for the kid's apprehension, Garrett was able to hire every gun hand in Lincoln County. Ah, shit. This gonna pop out. Yeah, they were friends before this, and right up until Garrett became sheriff. You're dead. Funny how money tends to corrupt stuff. And yeah, this, like I said, if you see the picture, it looks nothing like that. That's more the McSween house. That one was interesting because you run into a case of Posse shows up, and Sweeney actually goes to confront them after they set fire to the house in a running gun bat. There's a running gun bat, the house gets set on fire. And Sweeney comes out with a shotgun and gets really cut down, and Billy and his buddies and get, shoot their way out. Watch out! He's one of them! He's right behind us! Where the hell's Garrett? Man, we never Yep, that's right. Still, oh, yep. Oh, yep. the water tower. Not a bad idea. It would be a turkey shoot from up there. Luckily, these they shooters so. Garrett hired weren't the sharpest tools in the shed. The right position is very important. Also, we are Personally, Western I John Wick. Be on top. Oh, you do, dude. Hey, that's the best. But where was I? Saddle your buddy just got capped there, you and, and you're gonna run right to there too. My brother in Christ, you're the one who get, keeps getting cut down. Yeah, now I've had enough. Then, I heard a friendly voice yelling at me from the window. Back door! We'll cover you! Watch your flank! Truth be told, things weren't much better behind the house. I cut their numbers back. But that just made the ones that were left twice as mad. They made up for their lack of skill with a seemingly endless supply of ammo. It was a bit of a slog, but I finally fought my way around the back of the house. Okay, let's see what I got here. I was inside. Bastards. None the worse for wear. I passed Dirty Dave. It wasn't actually called Dirty Dave at this point. That's a 
very post-Western nickname and he got. Upstairs, I found Billy and Charlie Bolton. How about that? Hey, yep. You like that? Hey, Kid Rock. See you coming on some hard times. Also, yeah, that 21 kills by the age of 21 is complete bullshit. At this point, Billy looked at me and said, about "We've got Sheriff amigo, Brady, one of two of his deputies, and wind. another kill." Anyway, so you were friends that are with Billy confirmed. the Kid. Yeah, There's a sort bunch of. more that are attributed to him, but it falls under the this Wild West. You can't shoot somebody in Lincoln County at this point without really the kid being charged. Yeah, that didn't quite work. That death thing has a recharge. Charlie got hit. They're catching us in a crossfire, shouted Billy. Get to the other side. Who's this? You can't prove anything. So is that pumpkin? And yep, going to pet. That's when I met Sheriff Pat Garrett. I read that you went toe to toe with him, sir. That backstabbing <laughs> bastard with that tacked on tin star. <laughs> oh boy. Yep, Pat Garrett, Buffalo Hunter. On and off lawman. 
and not exactly the most ass drunk forever. Like I said, former friend of Billy's. You challenged him to a show. You read that in a dime novel? It said he showed no fear as he took your measure with eyes like a rattlesnake. Is that what that penny <laughs> dreadful said? No, boy. That ain't what I meant when I said I meant oh, that. God. Anybody who knows the story knows. So let me start that's again. bullshit. I finally reached those damn stables. Shit. Gary was in until 1908. Um, Possible. Eventual wisdom holds that it was a guy named Brazel, who was another ranch owner. Rumor has it that it was secretly. Preacher Jim Deacon. Or Preacher Jim Miller, I should say. He stepped inside. And, Too many nickname uh, peoples. Last thing I heard was Garrett's voice. Yeah, but no. That's not That's good. one of those rumors. And go on. How did it end? And, boy, that was just the beginning. To answer the question, though, what really happened after... A little bit after a gun battle at the, at the little farmhouse, Billy the Kid realized that, uh, yeah, discretion was a better part of valor, and realizing he couldn't escape, waved the white flag. Which leads us now to the most famous part of the legend of Billy the Kid. And we'll see that on the next video. Have fun till then.